Alright guys, so I got a few requests for my uh, Gunlancer build and I thought it would be more informative to make a video explaining the character and hopefully provide you guys with some helpful information and I will start with um, flashing through my gears, my skills, tripods and runes and then I will explain my choices and talk about the rotation and optional skill okay? Alright, so let's start with um, flashing through the characters here. So right now we're sitting at 1620. Um, our stat would be crit and spec. No, spec and crit, more like. Um, the elixir would be master. Right now we have 35 set. Um, these. Um, just flashing through real quick what I have right here. Um, we'll hopefully we'll upgrade them soon to get the 40 set. And the relic set would be hallucination. Okay. All right. And um, engraving. All right. So I take keen blunt, grudge, combat ranger three, curse door, barricade, and adrenaline one. Now for gems, we have all over 10 damage gems here. We have damage gems on Shield Chart, Shield Shock, Leap Attack, Guardian Thundercracks, Shield Bash, Shirt Cannon. And um, right now we have a level 10 cooldown gems on Self Hatred and Leap Attack. We have a level 9 cooldown gem on Bash and two level A's on Gar Guardian Thundercrack. And, um, Search cannon. We we try to upgrade these to level ten in the futures because they do um, benefit us quite a bit. For card, the good old Lie of Salvation and Castle Art Legion um, Commanders. Now for skills, skills. Um, hang on here. So we have Bash with. Um, Armor Destruction and Battle Preparation level 5 with the Bleed Rune. The skill will sit around level 7. Okay. Now Shield Bass would be um, level 12, Nimble Movement level 5 uh, tripod, and uh, Weak Point Detection level 5 tripod, and additional Hit tripod level 5 here with the ra Rage Runes. Um, shield Charge. Enhanced Strike level 5, Shield level 1, Destruction char le um, Charger level 5 with a, with a legendary uh, Gale Wind, Leave Attack, um, Iron Quick Breath level 5, Shockwave level 5, Low Shock level 5, and legendary uh, Gale Wind. Uh, Shirt Cannon with um, high Explosive Shot level 5, Overcharge level 5, Focus Fire level 5, with a Purple Gale Wind. And Shield Shock, um, Quick Prep level 5 here, Ready Defense level 1, Second Turbulent level 5, and a Blue Gale Wind. Rare one, I think. Rare, yeah. And um, Shout of Hatred. Um, I run magic control level 1, shield level 5, and open um, weakness with a purify, um, a purify uh, rune here. If you have mana issues, I would probably run focus, um, legendary focus. I'll explain that in the rotation uh, section here. And um, for Guardian Thundercrack, I would run Weak Point Detection level 5, Tough Strike level 5, Lightning Stock level 5 with a Pop Gear Wind. Okay. And, um, and yeah, so you guys can just stop the videos at any time to take a screenshot. Now, first, let's talk about the stats. So we have full spec here. And the secondary crit on the necklace. Also, we have crit and spec on the bracelet. The common question 
is a swift an option. Um, sort of. So you would trade damage for comfort. You gain back some damage in the form of attack speed and cooldown um, reduction. And I'll explain how that works into your rotation later. But for my testing overall, you would lose um, quite a substantial amount of damage if you go swift instead of um, crit. All right, so next we talk about the engraving. Um, so good lesson engraving is actually very flexible. It depends whether it's going to be your main or your alts. And now the option that I'm taking, um, like I said before, I'm taking Keenplan, Crust, Combat Rainers, Crestor, Barricade, and Adrenaline. Now Crust and Barricade is pretty much mandatory because they get the maximum benefit um, all the time on Gun Lancer. The other options are very flexible and I try pretty much all the builds, all the uh, different options and um, they perform very similarly. Now the main things here would be I take Keen Blunt instead of Stabilize Status because Gun Lancer is my main and I proc with it. And so upkeeping um, stabilize status in a proc content is not very realistic because um, boss do a lot of damage and I would be on eye level most of the time and so either I have to burn through a lot of pots or I just simply don't get the benefits and so I finally decided to switch over to Kimplan and um, and I now also get more crit chance from Elixir as well as the level 3 set from Hallucination. So we actually, when um, the reality buff is activated with um, full stack of master, we will sit around, I believe, 67% crit, and that would make Kim Blend very efficient. And it will just gonna keep getting better as we getting more crit from yeah you know, different sources from power creeping and stuff, so that'd be good. Now the other option that I take that a little bit different is that I take combat range three instead of adrenaline three. My adrenaline is sitting at one. Now again I also test out the bill. In Triction, they're very similar. Now the main difference here is in um, in practice, in real fight, the down the downside of adrenaline is every time is off, every time it's dropped, the next five skills won't have any engraving until the sixth skills. That's when the um, crit rate came in. And um, in real fight, there's many cutscenes, many long patterns that even if I try to use shield shock as a way to keep up adrenaline, I found it very realistic. And, I, and also, I proc with it um, most of the time. So um, I might not know the patterns or the timing. And so with adrenaline dropping very often, um, its value um, is not very high for me. Now, combat strain is on the other hand. Um, after the buff, now when you um, should attack the boss, now instead of using six skill, you probably only need to use three skill, or maybe even two if you start with an auto attack. Um, they will get its maximum value very quickly, and um, also. The second part of it, where when you get hit, you also get the stack. So let's say boss does a very long untargetable patterns and dropping AOE over the floor, and you in your shield stance, and some of the AOE hits you, you you maintain the combat range stack. So the uptime on this in real fight is um, I find way higher than adrenaline. So that's what I choose. But if you prefer um, the crit chance from adrenaline. 
that's a good option. In real fight, they shouldn't make a huge um, difference. Um, it's just my preference um, on the consistency. I find Compass Arenas is it's more consistent. So. And um, it was your ult. Uh, running both Keemplan and Curse Law and Curse in the build can be very expensive. So if it's your ult, you can replace Keemplan by stabilize status. And if you want the maximum amounts of values, like the highest ceiling build, then you replace Curse Law with stabilize status. Um, as an ult, you shouldn't take as much damage as if you proc with a main. So um, your stabilized stat is easier to keep, and it would make your build uh, your build way cheaper to make. You can go much more higher stat when you um, you run a trailer with with much cheaper price. So keep that in mind. Now for gems, because it's a consistent class. You kind of have to go a bit heavier on the damage gems. We would run sick damage gems for my build. And um, ideally, you prioritize the damage gems. You go as high damage gem as you could. And then once you done with the damage gems, um, then you work on the um, cooldown gems. Now, you want to prioritize um, a little bit high level bash, maybe one level ahead of the rest, so the, the, the cooldown will be smoother. And the second um, highest priority when it comes to cooldown is leave attack, and I'll explain it in the rotation as well. Sharp Hatred, I test it out, it's actually not that high, even though I have it at level 10 right now. Um, you usually 0.4 ish away from having it very smoothly go into your rotation and that's when the swift if you take swift this is when it gets smoothed out is it gives you enough um, cooldown reduction so that you can have sharp hatred on every other rotation and i'll show you in just a second and um the third one i probably put into third cannon uh, because it is a filler and right now it will come up uh, once every rotation and a half um, so a shorter cooldown might get it down to once every rotation that would be good uh, and I'll test more of it later as well um, and yeah so this is for the gems okay very simple All right, lastly, I'm going to go into the rotation and I'll explain my skill choices because I think it would make more sense once um, you see the rotation. Okay? So I divide the rotation into two parts, right? part one and part two, and then you have fillers. All right, so the first part of the rotation would be Shao Hatred, Bash, Shoe Bash, Shoe Shock, Guardian Thundercrack, and then Leave Attack. Now, the reason why we do the rotation in this order is because of Adrenaline and Master, which is the elixir. So, South Hatred, Bash, Sh Sh uh, Shoe Bash, and Shoe Shock will give you 5 style Adrenaline and 5 style Master. And by the time you use Guardian Thunder Crack in the rotation, you have 4 stacks of Adrenaline. So it will have more higher crit chance. So your hardest hitting skill have higher crit chance, as well as leap attack, your second hardest hitting skill. So this rotation allow you to maximize the values of your engraving. Um, and I think it's a very strong openers. Um, and then the second part would be, so let's say that you go from, again, sharp hatred, bash, Shoe Bad, Shoe Shock, Guardian Thundercrack, Leave Attack. And then you auto attack a little bit. Bash come up, Bash, Shoe Bad, Shoe Shock. And now you go Shoe Chard, and then Leave Attack. That's the second part. Right? The second part would be Bash. Oh, let's reset the cooldown real quick. 
Alright, the second part would be bash, shoe bash, shoe shock, shoe charge, and leap attack. Alright. And again, these two parts you can use interchangeably too because it's always allow you to set up for the highest damage skills. So let's say I can also reverse it, right? I'm gonna go Shell Patriot, Bat, Shoe Bat, Shoe Shock, Shoe Charge, Leave Attack, and then on Attack Loop it, Bat, Shoe Bat, Shoe Shock, Garden to Crack, um, and Leave Attack. And then I should loop back, right? And um, in the middle, the filler come in between the two part. Now my full rotation would go like this. I would go South Patriot, Bash, Shoe Bash, Shoe Shaw, Guardian Turn Crack, Leave Attack, Shirt Cannon, Bash, Shoe Bash, Shoe Shock, Shoe Charge, Leave Attack. And Right now you can see that my Shao Patriot show up because I don't have any yearning buff. If I start to have yearning buff and attack speed buff, um, Shao Patriot will be about point something, point four, between point four and point seven second off. Um, I find it better to prioritize flowing with your rotation and um, use it in the next round. So always use it before bash so that you can maximize the um, the damage that you gain from it. I know that you only gain 4% instead of the 9% for um, the front and back attackers, but um, it's still valuable damage. So you want to get that in. Um, now the skill options would be, there are three skill options, so you go um, very offensive. This is what I run with a shirt cannon. That means you go very um, offensive. Um, and the reason why shirt cannon is because every time they buff a brother red lancer, they always buff this skill. They always add modifier into shirt cannon. And right now, this skill have like just randomly hundred percent um, damage increase and you know sixty and eighty nine. So the raw damage of this skill is very high. So even we not um, a red lancer, this skill still do a substantial amount of sub damage. So in fight, usually it will roughly do similar damage to to shield shock. I put like eleven point here, eleven point here on shirt cannon, and eleven point on shield shock. You can go with um, ten on shirt cannon and twelve on shield shock, or the revert. Uh, 10 on shield shock and 12 on shirt cannon. The difference here is um, the shield shock damage means consistent. That means if you're able to get more shield shock, then it's more consistent. Shirt cannon, you invest into um, spikier damage. If shirt cannon doesn't crit, then we lose quite a bit if you invest like 12 point into it. Now, um, I do half and half. They don't make a big difference. Um, but um, search cannon also have very nice uh, stagger, would have the highest stagger per skill. A little bit less than shield bash, but uh, even though it say max and this one only say high, but a little bit less, but per cast is, is still a hefty chunk, especially when the, the cannonball flying out. And have um, weak point detection twice, so have one on the skill and one on the high explosive shot, so very good um, uh, destruction skill, stagger skill. Um, the other option you want to go a little bit more heavier on the utility. Um, you can run dash of a fire, and I would probably would move um, the Gawain down to the purple Gawain down to shield shock, and keep it um, a blue Gawain. You can replace it with purified, with um, rage, with I find quick recharge is unnecessarily because your cooldown is already uh, fit together very well. So 
um, quick recharge mainly benefit uh, self hatred, um, but as an option. Now let's say that I put a gale wind on it. Um, it's actually a very um, versatile skill. So if you want more dash of fire, use it more often. And you use quick prep. This tripod that they just changed very nice. That make it very fast, so you can score counters better. Now gunlands are even though they're in front all the time, but because of spec class, the animation is rather slow. So usually you see the boss flashing blue, you use your dash of fire, and then a swift class would got a got score on the counters. And that's the main reason why I switched to search cannon as well, because um, even though you use it all the time, but you don't score it because your animation is very slow. Well, maybe my timing is not that good. Could be either one. Um, second tripod, you can go with wide hit, uh, make it a little bit bigger. So it kind of increase the range. So it might increase the range a little bit and and um, help you score counter better. If you want a bit more extra damage, then go weak point detection. And hence try to choose a weaker um, weak point de um, the detection for for boss fight. So either option is fine. And the last one would be extra shell. Um, the, act, uh, the, the plus one attack on Dash of Fire also count as um, a counter. So now you have three instances of counterable move instead of um, two instances. So it will go like some uh, similar to this. Right. Something like that. Very good. Um, now if you run it that way, then the gem option would be you probably want to run uh, damage gems on that sort of fire. Because right now we don't have that uh, many strong skill because Bass doesn't scale very well with damage and our cooldown is already lined up very well so we want to find some damage where we could. Um, we, we run a level 10 um, on that sort of fire. And where's my this to go? Right here. And the cooldown, you can go a cooldown on Dash of Fire, or you can go a cooldown on um, Shoe Shock to smoother the rotation. Either one work. I think the cooldown on Shoe Shock probably benefit you more because, like I said, um, let me add more uh, attack speed and movement speed to simulate the the yearning buff here. We add 15 and then we minus 2 with one movement speed reduction, I think. Or minus, yeah, minus. That's fine, attack speed. Minus 2, like a 13. 1% different. It's a little bit there. So um, it's actually pretty fast. All right. So let's say that I um, Say so as a level ten to shoot shot. Now the rotation would some I would do something like this. If I don't, if I don't want to save, um, dash of fire for counter. If I find that counter is not really needed, I go that. Oh, let me uh, let me read it out so make it very clear. Okay, wrong button. All right, so we would go. All right, cool down. Good. Now we go shout hatred, bash shoe bad shoe shot. Guardian Thunder, leave attack, dash of a fire, and then bash, shield bash, shield shot, shield charge, leave attack, and do you see that shout hatred is a little bit off cooldown, right? It's two seconds here. Alright, there you go. And then it should loop, right? It should loop like this. Over and over again. And it loops very well. And you can find um, problem with mana as well. So a good support is very important um, because um, that's the main sort of mana regeneration. You can get re mana regeneration to food. And if you don't want to use food, then you can start adding um, focus rune. Now I would start adding focus rune on focus, uh, focus rune on self hatred first. That's my first place to go you still have mana issue then you add, slowly add focus rune in if you don't have the second legendary focus rune then you would add your uh, focus rune uh, purple one on shoe bash 
other ones fine. They they use the same amounts of mana. So you can go legendary on shield bass and then uh, epic on shell hatred. They would uh, give you the same amounts of mana reduction based on how much you use them, even though they they have different mana cost here, but you use it twice as much. Now, if you still have mana issues, and this is what happened before patch, is um, if I really have like mana issues, big mana issues, then I would go a third focus on Shield Shock. The problem when you run with three focus rune on Shield Shock is, is the animation rather slow. So even if you have um, level three yearning set, the last hit of your low shock might not get the buff. Um, if boss, um, so it will fit perfectly. So let's try again. So, shop hatred, bad, shoe bad, shoe shock, guardian thunder, and leap attack. Right, let's try again. Bash, shoe bash, shoe shock, shoe charge, leap attack. The last hit doesn't hit. So that's why um, we want to add um, Gelwin into Shield Shock to um, increase the consistency of, of. Oh, I still have it here. So it's already like a little bit tight. Um, let's come to this. Right? A little tight. Very tight. Very, very tight. Um, and that's usually happened during the second part of the um, rotation of where because shoe chart have a longer animation. So we want um, as much uh, um, attack speed as possible. And that's why I have a, a rage rune on 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 um, shoe bass as well because if the rage rune trigger that will make our rotation very smooth oh, I'm lacking a little bit oh, hopefully we back there you go um, and your dash of a fire will just become it should become your filler skill All right, let, let's do a full rotation here to see what would I do if I run dash of a fire All right Alright, so Sharp Hatred, Bash, Shoe Bash, Shoe Shock, Guardian Thundercrack, Leap Attack, Dash Up a Fire, Bash, Shoe Bash, Shoe Shock, Shoe Charge, Leap Attack, One Round Auto Attack, Bash, Shoe Bash, Guardian Thunder, and then we loop back, right? Now we have Sharp Hatred, then Bash, shoot bash, shoot shot, and it would just loop like this, right? And like I said before, like self hatred would be up every one and a half rotation. That's why the second self hatred um, was before the part two rather than part one of the rotation. And you can loop like this forever. And the mana issue will get better, like I said, it would the support. We don't have a support right now, that's why we run up mana. With a good support, um, you should be okay with one um, focus rune on self hatred. Um, usually, I have issue with a paladin because they're uptown a bit lower than than the bard and the artist when it comes to the mana. Um, but the food is very cheap. You can always run that. Or just put more focus rune on onto your character. Either one should be very well. Uh, the third option would be uh, instead of dash up a fire, you would run. Oh, and if you run dash up a fire, you would run at ten and put um, shoot shot into twelve. Okay. Um, now the last option is Nelesia. Now Nelesia is a really good skill. is very good at what it does. Um, so for Nelesia, I would run quick prep. Level five. One of these three options, they're all very good. The common option, 
would be sound purification um, and then survive or level 5. If you run uh, sound of purification you will have one extra tripod and I would put it into either shield for a bigger shield when you shield chart or quick pace make it a little bit faster when you shield chart or the other option that you can take as well is ray defense um, for for more um, in the incoming damage reduction and if you have mana issue you can also put it into magic control on self hatred um, either option is very uh, fine and they're heavy utility and so looking for what you need um, and then put them into that. I probably would use magic control to to improve the mana situation but um, if you want to tank more things then push you more movement then quick pace and ray defense for more damage reduction okay. and um, now let's say that you want to choose the other options um, effectiveness is very good as well it makes Nelesia become a 56 damage reduction AoE point blank everybody get it um, imagine that it's just a little bit worse than God's Decrease or Rhapsody. Uh, Rhapsody and God's Decrease, I believe, is 70 and 75. This um, Nelesia is, is 56 if you run that tripod for, for 6 seconds. So it can um, save a lot of, of lives if you correctly. And you probably use... Um, you use a uh, focus for sure on 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 LSE, uh, to equip that real quick. Okay. And um, for gems, you would go like a cooldown on LSE for sure. Um, let me get a cooldown real quick here. cooldown and then we keep the cooldown on, on shield shot um, perfect All right. so the rotation would be because we have a very um, rigid rotation as well um, it won't change much so we would go bash sh sorry let's do it again do sharp hatred bash shoe bash shoe shock go and turn the crack leap attack and then you do a whole round of auto attack one two bash shoot back shoot charge and leap attack and again it will loop nicely here and um now see I would just sit here when you find the opportunity to use it you don't have to use it to upkeep adrenaline um, because your rotation is very smooth um, I find this skill very good for when you proc, um, especially the beginning of proging, because um, your teammate might not understand the pattern yet, and so a lot of damage might come um, pretty much instantly. So having Nelesia is very useful to help you progress the the content. Um, I find that toward the later end of the proc, I used to switch over to the either more utility or more offensive build because that's when you're like, alright, we, we kind of get it. We want to push the damage so that we don't have to deal with normal pattern as much. And so the more offensive option I find is a little bit more useful. But Nelesia is um, when your support have trouble. Um, keeping up with the boss outcoming damage then this would be very helpful um, I usually don't take and would not advise to take it on re-clear content because that will slow down the content quite a bit and in re-clear again we don't take as much damage so we want to push the part of boss as fast as we could so I usually run research uh, search cannon or if I need to score multiple counters um, that would run dash of a fire and you know either option would be um, 
great for the team because um, search cannon you have very high stagger, very high weak point, that's about, uh, very high damage as well. Um, that's about fire, medium damage uh, on the lower side actually. Um, good weak point, decent stagger, and it's a counter. So very good option either one. Um, Nelasia, very good for proccing. Um, very defensive, very um, team oriented kind of um, situation. If your team find is very helpful or you have a static that um, communicate well together and they they understand that, oh, Nelasia is up, I can get my damage in and tank some patterns, then um, it's a good option as well. Um, now for Awakening, I run Lands of Judgment. Um, against an offensive skill, have decent weak point. We usually don't use this for weak point or stagger. It's the damage. It's, you can use it at the beginning of your rotation or in the middle. The beginning is more like a uh, help the team uh, to gain additional crit chance for a burn phase because it can give your team a, a 10%. Um, but if you use it in the middle, it's, it still um, has a good amount of damage. It's got a little bit nerf because Bass doesn't give you attack power anymore. It gives you normal skill damage and your Awakening is not normal skill damage. So it's a, get a little bit nerfed. Um, still a hefty chunk of damage. So either one's fine. So let's say for example, um, go back to my original build. Go with 11 here. Boom, boom. And then you're gonna get wind on here. Purple gear wind. And move from here, I think. Alright, and then. Yeah. Oh, because I have to. Give me one moment, boys. Oh, we have to go here to unequip. All right. Good AI. All right. All right. Equip here. Perfect. Oh, we need to move it over. All right. So let's say that we uh, let's get our reality real quick. All right. This is the beginning of the fight, and we just fight. Um, some some uh, mobs pre-fight and then we got our reality buff and we're gonna go in with um, tree bob up from bard plus aura moonfall with a lot of buff right you want to do very high burst there are two ways that you can approach this right so you can approach this with second we flip over the rotation you go sharp hatred bash Shoe bad, shoe shock, shoe charge, leap attack, your awakening, bad, shoe bad, shoe shock. Now your guard and thunder will get a lot of crit chance, leap attack, and then search cannon. Right, and then shoe bad, shoe shock, shoe charge, leap attack, self hatred. Now we loop back, right. And if you're gonna come in with adrenaline, I mean, so sorry, not adrenaline, atropine, you're gonna atropine in the middle of the um, your awakening animation so that you get the full buff. Now, just imagine that part buff is around 16 seconds, 15, 16 seconds, and a pattern also around the same. So, the first part of your rotation, when you start with self hatred, by the time it's end, about six seconds because bass only. Last six seconds. So your atropine with 10 seconds will take the full advantage of the second part of your um, rotation and the first part as well. So it will maximize the amount of um, buffs for your rotation. So make your combo a bit spikier. And also that's the reason why I take um, cooldown on uh, leap attack because it will allow me to um, put in two leap attack per rotation. Um, the older build that I had, I had um, enhanced strike. 
add um, a level 5 here and that will only allow me to use one leap attack so this is the old rotation it's a viable one it's a little bit more bursty it, it focused more on the first part of the rotation so it go shoe shock bash shoe bash i oh, sorry shoe bash shoe shock guardian thunder and leap attack make your leap attack hurt more but by the time you get to the second part your leap attack won't be on cooldown so either you have to do a filler or you auto attack if your filler is not up um, the third filler would be, um, you can also use your battle shoes. See, that's the end of my combo, you battle shoe, and you probably pop it. You can also use um, battle shoe, oh, hang on, reset cooldown, battle shoe right after your, your, um, hang on, your, um, your bash to get the, the four effects. Let's do that. Bash, shoe, bash, shoe, shock, and I will battle shoe. Right away. It should um, end before the the bash. But it's just a long cooldown skill and very nice utility. So um, I usually don't use it for for damage. But if you want to push the damage a bit more, you can do that. You can. There's multiple ways you can do this. Um, and very effective. Uh, let me reset the cooldown and let's do a, like a an example, right? So I say like very long the boss um, boss in lost art don't allow you to hit it very often, but some cases you can have an extended rotation. And if you want to maximize the amounts of damage for this particular build, um, I would usually go I would go something like this, right? So let's say we again coming in with reality buff. And buff already, let go. We press the go button. We sh uh, shout hatred, bash, shoot bash, shoe shock, shoe charge, leap attack. Alright, now atropine here, here. Uh, bash, shoe bash, shoe shock, shoe chart. I forgot my quick prep, is okay. Alright, Let, let's try again because I forgot my quick prep. Uh, change the thing over all right let's do it again all right we're coming in with reality buff all right all right shout patriot bash shoe bash shoe shot shoe charred leap attack awakening atropine bash shoe bash shoe shot guardian thunder leap attack shirt cannon Bath, shoe bath, shoe shark. This is where your atropine in right after your leave attack. Might be a little bit early. Right? And then you go like this bash, shoe bath, shoe shark, guardian thunder, leave attack, and then battle shoe. That will do a lot of damage. And um, you can switch up the um, rotations um, part one, part two. Uh, depend on what is need. Let's say you go into the fight without um, reality buff, All right? Because sometimes we wiped for whatever reason. Um, we wipe. We don't have reality buff. Um, now depend on the communication between your team and the support. Now, if your support just we go in, I keep buff immediately I don't wait then you totally can do the same thing with our reality buff and it will do a little bit less damage of course but it will be better than holding your skills so let's say you don't have reality buff you're just still coming in oh my bad you're still coming in south hatred bad shoe bad shoe shock shoe chart Leap attack. See, by the time you get to the second part of the rotation, your reality buff. So now your second part, the stronger part of the uh, rotation, uh, would be uh, fully buffed. Got all the buff coming in. And um, Gun Lancer is like an older class, so they don't have a lot of good raw damage from this skill. 
um, you have to layer uh, buffs and set up a little bit to to maximize the amounts of of damage. Um, the other option would be you can run leap for higher damage. It just straight up higher damage than low shock because this time give eighty and uh, leap will give you. 100%, so 20% more damage, but it will lock you into an animation, and I will probably run the cooldown as well if I run leap. Um, it will go something like this. We are set cooldown, alright. So, um, Shock Hatred, Bash, you Bash, you Shock, Garden Thunder, and then leap. Um, usually, the second part of your um, rotation would miss. Oh, I believe the shield sh low shock also. Uh, it doesn't low my. Oh, I think because the cool uh, the animation is longer, so it doesn't work very well with this kind of rotation. So maybe maybe um, it would be better for you to just run. Um, and hand strike to gain a bit more damage. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So if I run, um, a leap. I would just run and then we would focus more on the um, front part of the rotation. This would go shout, um, hatred, bash, you bash, you shot. Then now both of your guardian thunder and leap would get the fully buffed. Um, and, uh, and then they feel like. Alright, so. And that is how I do the rotation on my my gun lancer, and um, and I believe that's all the information I have. Um, let's see, do we have anything else? Yeah, that's I think so far that's all the information that I have, and um, and yeah, if you have any questions, just you know put it below, and um, and I'll try to answer them. And I hope you find this video helpful. All right, peace.